Hello everyone, my name is Jitendra Wafna. In this video, we are going to see how to create auto launch flow and how we can call the auto launch flow using Apex code. Okay. In last code video, we have seen how to create auto launch flow, screen flow, record trigger flow. We have also seen how to call uh, external services into the sales post flow. In this video, we will just focus on creating a auto launch flow and how we can call the auto launch flow from the piece of Apex code. Okay, so let me uh, let me go to Salesforce and on Salesforce you can go to the setup. On the setup you can search for flow. Right here it's a flows, and once you uh, click on flows, you will like navigate it to this particular screen. Just click on new flow. Right, I will use the start from scratch. Then I will use the auto launch flow, no trigger create. Here, this is my auto launch flow. So now what I have to do? So basically, uh, I will get a three fields as an input. I will get an account name, I will get a phone number, and I will get the industry. So with those three input fields, I have to create an account in the account object. Right. So let's start creating a three variables new resource click like click here and new resource just say variable i can just say account name select the data type equals to text and just say available for input okay if you are not clicking this then this particular field will be not available for the input just say new resource set up a new second variable call phone select the type equals to text say available for input done just say industry again this variable api name industry right just say data type equals to text available for input now we have created those three fields so if anybody is calling this auto launch flow has to pass these three variables account name phone and the industry now once i get this value i will create a account record so i will use the create record operation so here I can say create account simple how to set the record fields I will just say manually and what object I have to select the account object and the first field account name the account name is nothing it's a Salesforce account object field and I have to map with the account name which is the variable we have created now same thing we have to map the phone number also just type phone account phone map with the variable phone now same thing we goes with the industry map the variable just make sure you are mapping the variable right so it will looks like simple variable and just say industry that's it save give create account records flow that's it copy this name we will require this copy this save it now it looks good and just activate it okay so now i have a piece of uh, apex code so i will just create a map okay this is of type string and string because my uh, because we have to pass name value pair so my all the uh, field name are string and values are also of text type so we have select everything as a string right and just i am saying new map and like that's it then parents dot put i'm putting the account name i will say mule techno i will just say mule technology something like that this is my account name i will just put phone number as a something zero 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 parents dot put industry as a chemical so this three variable name should be match with the variable name we have declared in this particular auto launch flow okay next thing we will create the instance of interview so this is the flow dot interview dot create account flow this is nothing this is uh, this is basically a flow name the auto launch flow name i will copy this auto launch flow name which we have given i have already copied it okay so just let me paste it here control v okay something goes wrong let me check what I, yeah so now i have to change like you know so what i've done 
flow dot interview dot uh, auto launch flow name and i create the object new flow dot interview again i have to give this uh, flow name correctly right then that's we have to pass this params so this is nothing this is the map Pair map basically map object which uh, of type parents which we have created here and we are setting off all the variables then finally we will just say account flow dot start right and copy this command okay so go to developer console we will run this code in the developer console so i can just click on settings and i will just click on developer console and from developer console i can go to open execute anonymous window i can make it big okay before I execute this i need to verify few things let me check in account object i will just say okay so here these are the my account so here i cannot see anything with name mule no there is nothing so let's see let me create uh, let me run that piece of code i put in the anonymous window and I can simply say execute. Okay, so let's see. It may take some time. No, it should not take much time. So here you should see the Mule Technology account has been successfully created into your account object, right? So that is how you can call the flow, auto launch flow from the FX code. So right now it should. Uh, it should get complete soon but here it's already created the account because this particular auto launch flow is a long running process sometime so here like you may have to create a queuable class queuable classes for that but here we just run in the anonymous window which is also okay let me try one more time with other account so instead of chemical i can just say utilities and i can say mule technology one and here I can put one just execute this also go there and just check new technology we have selected the industry as a chemical right yeah, yeah because it says to utility because I have some trigger in the background which is okay right so that's fine okay so it should create a mule technology one and in mule technology one we have an industry type of utilities right let me select some other industries also instead of utilities like what are the other industries we have available i can select those also so let me check we have a transportation technology this time we will select the technology so let me do one thing this is actually a technology new technology 2 okay copy this Just say okay just again say debug open anonymous window just say execute and go back to account object cancel this account so what this time i give a new technology tool let me refresh this Just click on my accounts so here it, it can see the mule technology 2 is been created and the industry type of technology right so that is how you can create the auto launch flow and uh, call from the apex code right so we will going to see more complex examples we will create more apex classes and we will try to call these flows using apex classes here i just shown shown the simplify version of the auto launch flow and how we can call this auto launch flow from the apex code right i hope you like the video if you like the video please click on like and subscribe button thanks for watching